We are back, back to back lip swatch videos. And today, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We have the brand new Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow lip colors. I sent my husband to Sephora because he is a sweet baby angel and he was able to go pick these up for me and I'm so excited. I have one of the shades on right now. I will talk about my first impressions. We're gonna do swatches on all of them. I can't really talk on the wear, the longevity of them just yet, but I will be putting all that info in the description box down below but if you guys want to see what these colors look like on me and my first impressions then let's get started hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome my name is Christina and on my channel we talk all things beauty from my own experiences so before you guys go make sure to subscribe to my channel like this video and leave any comments that you have for me down below so I think I have the shade Barely Pink on right now with Max Spice Lip Liner just on the outer edges here. Just so you guys know exactly what this shade is right now, let's talk about the specs of these lip colors. So like I said, these are called the Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Colors. They come in 13 shades and they're $24 each. You can buy it on Makeup by Mario's website or you can buy it on Sephora's website online, in store, and I think also the Kohl's Sephora's. These are a full coverage water infused liquid lip color that hydrates and visibly plumps with a weightless glossy feel. They have an encapsulated H2O which creates a sensorial feel that instantly looks, locks in hydration. High shine refractive oils that provide a glow and intense skincare benefits and a water infused formula that creates a juicy sensation on application. Oh my gosh, that makes so much sense now that I've read that and I experienced it when I was applying it to my lips. So we'll talk a little bit about that. So we'll talk about my first impressions to start off with. Here is the shade Barely Pink. This is what I have on my lips right now. Super cute pink shade. This is described as a soft spiced pink. This is interesting because the doe foot, as you can see, it, it looks like a standard doe foot. However, the feel of this doe foot the actual fibers on it feel kind of longer and a little bit more sparse between. So it almost feels fuzzy, like it almost feels hairy, which is weird. But to talk about the texture, when I first applied this on my lips, it felt like water, like straight up water. It doesn't feel tacky like a gloss. It doesn't feel thick like a thicker oil film, like a lip oil. It really does feel like you're putting thick water on your lips and i'll just apply a little bit more here and instantly you see that shine and my top lip is what it's looking like after three hours and my bottom is freshly reapplied so literally after wearing it just for a couple hours for the first time ever i will say that you do lose a little bit of that glossy glossy finish but you still do have that hydrated look it still looks really soft and you still have the full-on pigmentation but you do lose a little bit of that gloss which it makes sense because for something that's glossy it's not going to stay on the lips as long as something that's matte and it reapplies Applies really nicely it basically looks fresh it really does give you a sensorial feeling of just like putting hydration literally just putting water on the lips now you do feel it obviously if you do a thicker coat it is going to feel a little bit more like a gloss but it's not sticky at all it doesn't stick to itself it's very slick so again this is the shade barely pink I really enjoy this shade. I think it really suits me as a pinky nude shade. Oh, I also think it's important to note that it leaves you with a little hint of mintiness. Like it doesn't feel tingly and it's not an intense minty feeling. It really is just a subtle minty feeling and I don't notice any scent to these. So I'm gonna remove this so we can swatch the rest of the colors and it removes perfectly fine. Like it's really easy, you just wipe it off. The next shade we're gonna go in with is the shade Smoky Pink, which is described as a true mauve. I'm gonna try not to press my lips together so we can kind of evaluate the actual like pigmentation of it going on, you know? So here is Smoky Pink. Really, really is 
the perfect true mauve. I don't feel like this pool's too gray on me. It doesn't look super, super pink or anything. I feel like it sits right there in the middle, which is very impressive to me. This is probably the most mauve that I would go. Anything a little bit more grayish, I think would be too much. This sits really nicely in the middle to where this feels like it still looks like a nude on me and I can pull it off. And I also feel like the finish of this really helps the mauve shade so I don't look like dead you know sometimes i find that mauves can make me look a little bit sallow and and dull but i feel like the shine to this is really helping bring life to the color i like that even though these are really pigmented the pigmentation and the texture of it isn't like sinking into the lines you know how sometimes pigment can really like sink into those lines i haven't experienced that yet so i'm very hopeful that that's not going to happen with this product Next, we have the shade Cool Pink, which is described as a cool pink. There's something about this shade that just makes it look so cute. Like, the swatch is just adorable. I can't get over how much this feels like straight-up water. <laughs> All right, and here is the shade Cool Pink. So it's bright enough to where, even though it's a cool pink, it doesn't look, again, like it's washing me out. I feel like this has a lot of potential to be super wearable. This is not a shade that I would typically go for. If I wore this type of shade, I would wear it with a lip liner, maybe like a darker lip liner to just kind of add depth to the outside of the lips so that there's a little something there, you know? But this is a really beautiful shade. I could see this working for a lot of people, especially those who aren't necessarily comfortable with cooler lip tones. And out of curiosity, I do want to take a lip liner to see what this shade would look like if I like deepened it up, you know? So I'm going to take this Rare Beauty lip liner in the shade Bold, and I'm going to use this to outline my lips before applying the shade Cool Pink. And I'm going to do a thinner layer of this, actually. Oh, that's so much better already. I don't know if it's just in my head, but I feel like that's even more wearable now. Like it's so subtle and under it, like almost like underpainting for the lips that you can only tell that there's like a little bit of a difference, you know, but also makes the biggest difference. I would suggest since this is a glossy type of texture to go in with your lip liner first so it goes on to like a dry surface so it stays longer you know i actually think that looks pretty good and i like that and i would wear this i would wear this out next we have the shade soft blush which is described as a rosy pink oh she's kind of light yeah she's light on my my lips all right so this one definitely the lightest one that i've tried so far not my favorite this is one that i would have to get to work for me that doesn't like just naturally work with my skin tone in my opinion considering that it is a nude gloss like finish this has good pigmentation i think this actually covered the lips really well without having to put a really thick layer on top i definitely think having that gloss finish is very forgiving if you know nudes like that are harder for you to pull off next we have the shade miss rose which is described as a deep rosy pink Ooh, i'm excited for this one i think i'm gonna really like this one. Oh, so pretty all right here is the shade miss rose and i thought the shade barely pink was already my favorite but this one oh my goodness it is gorgeous i could stop the video here because this is the perfect shade <laughs> I love it. It's slightly darker, but it's not vampy on my skin tone. I feel like it slightly elevates the look, you know, but it doesn't compete with anything. And I just, I love the finish with this color. I just, I love it. It's really beautiful. Next shade that we have is the shade Caramel, which is described as a light caramel. That's really pretty too. This is such a beautiful shade, really unique from, I think, the entire collection. You know what this shade really reminds me of is right off the bat, I'm thinking of Fenty's Gloss Bomb, the Cream Gloss Bomb in Honey Waffles. That shade is beautiful, but this one I think pulls a little bit darker than that one so if you find that honey waffles is not quite wearable for you because it is a little bit lighter maybe try this one out i think this is gorgeous though as it stands i think it's beautiful and i really feel like this would work so well if you have medium tan and darker complexions mm, so beautiful and last but not least we have the shade spice which is described as a cinnamon brown shade Stop, that's so pretty. Are you kidding? 
This has to be the easiest, most wearable chocolate brown lip color that I've tried in a very long time. I can't even think of the last chocolate brown lip color that I felt like looked like something I could wear every day. This is gorgeous. I love the finish of this. This is the perfect cinnamony brown. Like there's just enough red tones in it to just complement the brown in this color to where it looks wearable, like it feels wearable. Like for someone like me who typically goes for like a rosy brown, like a pinky brown for an everyday shade, this feels wearable to me, which is shocking. I love this shade. This is absolutely gorgeous. I can't get over how beautiful this tone is. I think that this shade is gonna work for so many people. I think that this one is going to be an absolute hit of the collection. So guys, those were all the swatches. Now to talk a little bit about my first impressions and my thoughts, these are so beautiful. I think to start off, the shades that were put into this collection are gorgeous. I feel like they're super flexible and the undertones and all of them are just so perfect. And I've never felt this strongly about cool tones being wearable on my skin tone, but I truly feel like these tones are, he they just like, hit it out of the park. They're gorgeous, they're beautiful, they're wearable, and that's what I want from a lip collection, you know? Like I want something that I can see myself wearing all the time and something that I would want to implement into my makeup routine all the time. And something that I don't think a lot of people think about when they're buying lip products, but for me personally, I know I'm not the only one, but for me, whenever I go out to you know, a restaurant with friends or family or what have you, I don't like wearing a lip product that I have to be super careful with when I'm eating. So I want something that's easy to remove and something easy to apply after I eat. And this comes off so easily, you just wipe it away with a tissue and then you can reapply it and you're good to go. But also the way that it was looking after three-ish hours of wear, I would probably eat with my lip color looking like that and then just reapply right on top. So I love a really easy go-to type of lip product like this. And the fact that it's so easy to apply like that, it's gonna draw me in and make me want to use it more often. This is definitely more in the category of a liquid lip color versus a lip gloss. So you definitely get that full on color payoff. They're really versatile too. You can wear them with a lip liner and just use a very thin layer of it. I like the way that it feels on the lips. I like this subtle minty feeling. It doesn't feel like you just pop like a bunch of mints, you know, in your mouth where it's super over the top minty. And I also like how it doesn't feel really like, I don't like the burning plumping sensation whatsoever. That's usually, unless the color is gorgeous and it makes my lips just look amazing, I typically go for a minty gloss. They are pretty small. Like for instance, I have the Tower 28 gloss here and then I have the Makeup by Mario uh, Moisture Glow right here and it looks really small, right? Like this in comparison is 0.13 fluid ounces while this is 0.11 fluid, fluid ounces. So it's not that much of a difference. It does seem pretty jarring and I was thinking like oh that's kind of expensive it looks like a small product but honestly they're so beautiful and I was so blown away by the texture the feel the sensorial feel of it and also the color payoff that I feel like it's worth it I feel like $24 is worth it but then again I am an absolute lover of lip products obviously you guys can tell from the content that I create I love lip products so for me I could justify it these are beautiful. They're obviously not gonna be transfer proof because they do have that glossy like finish and they don't claim to be transfer proof. But like I said, if you're looking for something that's easy to apply, remove, reapply, this is gonna be your go-to. I hope that you guys found this video helpful as well. Let me know in the comments down below if you picked up any of them or if you're planning on it now that you've seen these swatches, hopefully this was helpful for you guys. I really enjoy seeing your comments saying that you found this helpful because we have similar skin tones. That makes me so happy, you guys don't even know. I've been forgetting to mention in my videos that YouTube has been rolling out their affiliate program. You will see underneath this video, there's gonna be a tab that says view products or view all products, something of that sort. And if you click on that, it'll show you a list 
of the products that I mention and that I link from this video and they are affiliate links so I do earn some commission from it so I appreciate if you guys shop it there but if you don't want to use YouTube's affiliate program you can always use the description box down below to shop these products and again I really appreciate when you guys do shop those links because it really helps my channel out it helps me to grow and it helps me to purchase these products for you so I can continue to you know bring you swatch videos that is everything for this video guys i hope that you enjoyed it i hope you found it helpful and if you did please make sure to like comment and subscribe for more videos like this one and i'll see you guys in my next video bye